Welcome back, everybody. Taking a, a different way home. Should be a nice little ride. Temperature is perfect out. It is uh, very cool to be out of work by uh, 11 o'clock. I should be getting home, uh, I don't know, maybe a quarter after 11 or so. Get paid for the whole day. I can't complain. Can't complain at all. I work in an office, um, but before that I was a, a technician, auto repair, 20 plus years. So it's did I miss what I wanted to see? Nope, there it is. Um, so this training we had. We spent the day in the field, or I'm sorry, we spent the day. I'm not gonna get a good view of it. We spent the day in the shop doing some welding, some plastic repair. And uh, shop life's a little different. For people that don't work in a shop, it's, it's more laid back, it's relaxed. There we go. Hopefully we can get a picture of it. Um, people joke around a lot. Um, things that you wouldn't even expect it's going to happen. So it was a good time. Uh, we cut apart part of a unibody frame rail and uh, we had four different stations and uh, four different ways of welding it back together either with a stitch weld or a spot weld. Um, so it was nice. I had a great time. So the instructor told me I need to sign up for the uh, third training course. Fourth, I'm sorry, the fourth training course. So when I get back to the office, I will let my boss know that he needs to uh, sign me up for it. It has to do uh, more with aluminum repair and how aluminum is bonded and it's, it's glued and riveted. And it, it makes for a stronger, stiffer body, stiffer frame, so cars handle better. It can be made of lighter material, so you get better gas mileage. But, you know, enough of that. I want to get back and uh, play in the shop. So I have four days off. Today, um, um, I gotta check the weather. I gotta upload a video, and then uh, I think I'm gonna get started on that windy nine. I've been saying all year I wanted to do it, so a uh, couple days off. Maybe I can knock one of them out. I know uh, 555's on there, and I'm not gonna do that. I just did that when I was having some technical difficulty with the son's laptop. Didn't realize there were two volumes. You can just mute the screen. And then there's a, a volume up and down. So I was turning it up and down and the numbers were increasing, but there was no sound.
So I'll sit down tonight and uh, I'll find a route. And I've probably done most of the routes, just not knowing what they were or the whole route. Oh, what are they building there? At a barn? Little apple orchard. Ooh, they got apples. Very cool. Wasn't expecting to seeing little apples on there. Oh, that would be a uh, good view looking out that way. When my kids were much, much younger, we had a, a babysitter that lived down off this road, so I'd come this way every day. Sure the condition of the road was in better shape but it's still for how slow we were going it, it wasn't bad Come on, little Honda. Down in front of that truck. Yeah, I'll, I'll sit down tonight and uh, look over one of those and do a, a windy nine tomorrow, maybe. Uh, check the weather. I hear it's supposed to rain. Uh, if it's off and on, I don't care. I'll, I'll be out in it. It does not bother me at all. I need to call the tire shop and see if they uh, can still get the tire I put on the back of this thing. It seemed like this one didn't last quite as long. I usually change that first one anywhere from 10 to 14,000 miles and I go with a uh, car tire. Um, always put the same tire on. I, I have pretty good luck with it. And then I can usually get anywhere from 20 to almost 30,000 miles out of that car tire to where I get 10,000 to, if I'm lucky, 14 on the factory tire. Factory tire is three times as much. I don't have any traction issues going with a car tire, even though it is a lot harder.
very fun part of the road. Make the corner there, buddy. There you go. I really like this last section of the road through here. It's amazing how we can go from a nice twisty little road to down through here. It's perfectly straight. working uh, three days next week since we have Memorial Day off uh, and then it's gonna be the last time I commute all the way up to Dublin which is gonna take about 40 miles off of my uh, my ride a day so I'm gonna have to do uh, I don't have to but I'm going to since we're moving uh, to downtown Columbus they uh, the company built a new building but after they broke ground on it and uh, laid the foundation and start putting it up they realized it was about 3,000 seats too small so they weren't sure what they were gonna do with all of us so our department is not moving into the new building there's already a building that was built and it's uh, I guess it's empty now so that's what we're going to go into um, there were three parking garages that we could have got and I was a lucky one and the parking garage I'm in is attached to the building I work in so I'm gonna do uh, the dry run just because I'm never in downtown Columbus I don't like traffic I don't like big cities so all of my rides are on nice little two-lane roads um, so I, I kind of know the area that the buildings in uh, when I went to the Clippers game last week we had lunch beside the building. So, I'm going to have to uh, pick a Saturday and uh, take a trip up there. Maybe two different ways in. Uh, someone told me today it'd be easier if I take 33 up to 70 and then 71 north to 670 and drop in that way. Um, I was just going to take 70 and then go through downtown. So uh, I'll try the 670 part and see if that works a little better. Not looking forward to dealing with the downtown traffic, but uh, if I have to adjust the time I get to work, you know, it's a, a good thing with the company I work for. They say, show up anywhere from six to 10, put in your eight hours of work and go home. So I show, uh, I get to work early enough that I can leave at three. And I, I'm not in too much traffic then coming out of Dublin. I don't know about downtown Columbus.
so so we'll have to see um, you know if there's a lot of traffic I'm just gonna have to wake up a little bit earlier the wife already makes fun of me for uh, how early I go to bed now so if I have to wake up any earlier it's gonna be hard um, We'll figure it out. Not that big of a deal. When those things that uh, you deal with and move on, you know, I either live with the traffic or the traffic might not be that bad at three o'clock. Since the parking garage is right there in my building, it shouldn't take long to get from the parking spot to my office or office to the parking spot. So, on that, I'm uh, I'm here in Lancaster. So, uh, everybody, be safe. I'm gonna get a video uploaded tonight. Uh, pick out a route for this weekend. I don't picking. I don't like picking out routes, but uh, you know, I want to do see what this windy nine is all about. So I'm gonna pick one of the routes out and uh, see if I can't get at least one of them done this weekend. And uh, everybody, stay safe and. Uh, I'll see everyone in a few days.